Hello again, everyone. Edwin Martyr back once again on this likely uh, YouTube uh, shadow band astrology video. I'm going to be talking about the moon square or opposition Chiron in a natal chart. Now, some of you may remember when I first started my YouTube astrology channel, I did a series on the aspects in a natal chart. They're a little bit concise. Some people may refer to them as snappy. So what I decided to do is make another series on them in which the videos would be a little bit longer and more descriptive. So anyway, first thing up is if you have the moon square or opposite Chiron in a natal chart, there may be difficulty um, in meeting that need, which is the moon to help and heal um, others. Um, with Chiron is an Aquarius site. You know, there may be some desire to help and heal others. It could be through humanitarian, altruistic efforts and endeavors. It may be, you know, through friendship. It could be through, you know, helping somebody out with the things that are computer, electronic related, you know, astrology, something on an environmental scale of Know, human rights advocate, things of that in nature, but there may be more difficulty meeting the need for that if you have you know, the moon square or opposite Chiron in your chart. Now, another thing is that also two healers, which is Chiron, you know, may not be uh, compatible with that unconscious side, which is the moon that you uh, express. You know, if the moon is in Gemini, say, you know, that unconscious side can be mercurial or you know, overly you know, loquacious or talkative, changeable, uh, vacillating. It could be a side you know, that just doesn't you know, have a lot of persistence and you know, can be scattered uh, to some uh, degree, you know, maybe gossiping even. So you know, um, the thing about you know, this too is if you have uh, one of these aspects in your natal chart, it may be harder to heal, uh, which is Chiron, um, you know, issues um, connected uh, you know, with the breast, the chest, the stomach, the ribs, or the left or right eye, depending on gender, which is the moon. Now, I mean, if you have your moon, you know, say, in Pisces, you know, you could be dealing with some kind of, you know, eye issue that may be blurry. You know, unclear, nebulous. It could be uh, if the moon is in Gemini, there may be something, you know, with double vision. Um, the thing is, uh, and it's also to, you know, if you have one of these aspects in your natal chart, um, the mother and family, which is the moon, you know, may not be, you know, beneficial to you in matters that are connected with depleted um, self-esteem, you know, self-worth, how you feel about yourself, which is, you know, Chiron. You know, Chiron is depleted self-esteem. The thing about that is if Chiron is in Taurus, say, you know, depleted out uh, of self-esteem, you know, maybe tied in with, uh, you know, things of a, uh, could be a monetary nature, you know, your values, possessions, um, it may be tied in with issues connected with persistence, patience, uh, perseverance. You know, if you have your moon in Scorpio, you know, the mother and family, or, or at least one family member may actually be a Scorpio sun, moon, or ascendant person, or simply embody the characteristics of the sign. It could be, you know, people that are very resourceful, resilient, um, intense, empowering, transforming, um, incisive, probing, uh, people that are very deep, that can go beyond uh, subterfuge and superficiality as some examples. And another thing about these aspects too is that, you know, the emotional and physical wounds, which is uh, Chiron, you know, may have an adverse, uh, more of an adverse effect on you when you're sleeping or you're in the unconscious state, which is the moon. And, you know, if the moon is in Gemini, say, you know, you might be kind of a restless, you know, light sleeper anyway. You know, I have my moon in Gemini. And I wake up, you know, fairly easily. I do believe I'm closer to a light sleeper than I am in terms, I guess, well, I don't know if the opposite is a deep 
you know, sleeper. But um, the thing is, you know, say if Chiron, you know, is in Pisces, you know, the, you know, there may be physical related wounds that are connected with, you know, the feet, the toes, lymphatic or immune system, the pineal gland, um, as some examples, um, immune issues. Um, there may be, um, and as far as emotional wounds go, if um, Chiron is in Pisces, there may be issues, you know, with gullibility or, you know, some confusion, you know, direction to go um, in life. In some cases, it could be alcohol or drugs. It could be some issue with, you know, addiction or not meeting, you know, one's ideals as some examples. Now, another thing about the moon square or opposite, uh, you know, Chiron in a natal chart in terms of how it may manifest for you is that, you know, the deepest moon, which is Chiron, you know, may have more of an adverse effect on the emotional state, uh, which is the moon. Now, if Chiron is in Scorpio, as an example, you know, the deepest wound, you know, maybe one of a psychological nature, maybe tied in with, you know, with sex, you know, intimate connections, you know, ability, you know, to be resilient, to bounce back from adversity, trouble, and crisis situations, as some examples. Um, if Chiron is in Aries, say, you know, there might be some kind of suffering, maybe the deepest wound is tied into one's courage or one's identity, how one fits in with the world and society. Um, it could be issues with aggression or assertiveness, bravery, you know, showing, you know, that enter difficulty, showing the enterprise, you know, initiative. It might be something tied in with a physical confrontation that you know, maybe one had lost or you know, something you know maybe tied in you know with that as far as the deepest wound goes and now it may have more of a negative effect on you know, that emotional state again which is the moon now also too if you have the moon square or opposite Chiron in the natal chart there may have um, the person may have trouble expressing feelings which is the moon you know, regarding uh, one's insecurities, which is uh, Chiron. Now, if Chiron is in the zodiac sign of Cancer, you know, there may be some insecurity tied in, you know, with one's you know, home, family situation. Um, maybe there's some issues of protectiveness, um, maybe issues with dedication, tenacity, about, um, you know, safety and security. You know, not having that maybe in one's life. Um, there can be, um, maybe it's issues trying to plan for the latter part of one's life, you know, as uh, some examples, and or just being overly, you know, sensitive or emotional about things. Now, another thing, too, about these aspects and how it may be expressed in the middle chart, there may be difficulty in terms of responding, which is the moon, to um, pain and anguish, which is Chiron, and that could be either, you know, uh, physical or emotional pain or an anguish and suffering. Now, say um, if Chiron is in Capricorn, as an example, you know, there may be literal or physical pain wonders, uh, which may be connected with the knees, the bones, the hamstrings, the, uh, the gallbladder, uh, the bones, as some examples, or uh, on a more figurative level, you know, emotional suffering may be tied in with one's social status, stature in life, uh, public image, reputation, the success one attains. It may be connected with one's career, and, and the ambitions that one is trying to attain. There may be some struggles with that. And also, too, uh, if you have uh, one of these aspects in your natal chart, you may often not be in the mood, which is the mood, you know, to find that key, God, which is Chiron, to deal with suffering, uh, which is Chiron. You know, um, the thing about, you know, that is, I mean, let's say, you know, um, you know, Chiron, you know, as in Leo, say, as an example, you know, that key could just simply be, you know, I mean, there, there may be suffering connected with, you know, 
attention, you know, as some examples, not getting, you know, the attention or being lauded and praised for the efforts, but maybe the key for that would be understanding that, you know, that, you know, as long as you're lauding yourself and you're giving yourself the credit for the efforts, um, you know, that, you know, that is um, you know, praise enough that maybe one really needs, uh, you know, to get. And anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, everyone will say stay well.